Hi everyone, how are we? Let me get my microphone in the actual right position. I don't know. Get the mouse there. Microphone there. Not be muted. There we go. We're up and running. Hi everyone, how are we? Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Saturday the 30th of... No, it's not. I've got the... Oh yeah, it is Saturday the 30th. Although I've got the wrong date on my screen. It's Saturday the 30th of October. Uh, I've got Saturday the 30th of January. I've gone back. I've come back in time. Uh, how are we all? Thank you very much for joining us. It is another Saturday night. It is another quiz. Uh, it's another 50 questions in front of us uh, with, I can't remember. Hang on, let me bring up my, my other screen and let me remind myself what I, oh yeah, um, another only style, only connect style board for second break, uh, but also a word search of a bit of fun because I thought some of the kids might be playing this evening. So a bit of a word search for break one for you as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Remember on Saturday, there you go. It's all going wrong already. Uh, but yes, yeah, so um, this is recorded in one go. Uh, I saw a great comment a couple of weeks ago saying, um, you, you say it's recorded live. Is everything not recorded live? So what I mean by this is from the moment I push the record button, which I'm just double checking I have actually pushed it because I did that wrong last a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but from the moment I push the record button to the moment that we get to the end of the quiz where I say thank you very much, goodbye. Uh, it is recorded in one go. So that's what I mean by it's recorded live. So it's recorded from start to finish. So all the mistakes are there. It's not what you'd normally expect from one of the live quizzes. It's just I'm not physically doing it live at that moment. Uh, it's pre-recorded. So as you watch this, it's uh, I've just just finished the uh, Thursday night quiz, which I'll come on to in a minute. Um, but yeah, so um, that's what I mean by that. Uh, what it does mean as well, we are still in looking into it, but it does mean that it is back to the way we began. So if you are new and joining us for the first time tonight, the best, the, the best, the only way to play is to grab yourselves a pen and a piece of paper. Get your friends and family on Zoom calls and what have you back to where we started. Uh, and that is how to play tonight. Pen and paper fun. Because um, we've had, although Quiz Jockey is brilliant, we love it to pieces. Uh, we have only had Quiz Jockey for just over 12 months now um you know for six months there wasn't apps there wasn't quiz jockey it was just pen and paper uh but that is the only way to play this evening and now i know by the time that this goes out someone someone somewhere will have said i can't find it on quiz jockey tonight how do i play on quiz jockey um yeah there it's just pen and paper for this evening um and yeah on that uh if you are just a good point actually if you are uh, while i think about it um all the quiz jockey links and everything for the uh, for October. Sorry, not October for November. Uh, so all the YouTube links, all the uh, quiz jockey links, and everything they'll be up from Monday. So there, I've got those planned in for Monday morning uh, to put those up. So yeah, um, all good. Now, as I as I said, um, and I mentioned this on Thursday night, I'm recording this straight after Thursday night's quiz. So I've gone from uh, thank you, goodbye to writing a few more questions to straight into recording this after Thursday night um, because I've got a very, very busy Friday morning. Uh, I am off. Um, so by the time you watch this, um, and I've just been making sure that I've got all the details, uh, I need to get a boat, I think. I've seen the weather forecast and I believe it's um, very flooded around Cockermouth at the moment, but I'm up. Uh, by the time you watch this, um, I'm up sort of uh, in Cumbria. Uh, but uh, yeah, so by the time you watch this, I would have already hosted it. Um, it's a charity fundraiser, raising money for young minds. So I'm hosting a, a full 50 question quiz in person. Um, I just need to make sure I've got my waterproofs and uh, my rowing boat um, to make sure that, but I'm, I'm sure I would have been fine and we got there. Uh, but yeah, raising money for young minds uh, in association, uh, sorry, in aid and in memory. Uh, of the guy's late boss, Adrienne Easterbrook. So for those of you that I saw last night, because uh, this is Saturday as you watch this, and I'm recording it on Thursday night, so those of you who um, were there last night, thank you very much. Um, and I've probably said at various points, I've already said thank you. Um, so thank you to you guys. But it'll all make, it'll all make sense when it all comes together. Um, but yeah, so uh, another in-person quiz, another really looking forward to that um, as I record this, but by the time you watch it, it's already done. Uh, so yeah, loads and loads of really cool things, um, sort of in-person quizzes and stuff coming up. But that's why there's no shout outs um, on this one. And that's why I do, I do like recording these on a Friday afternoon, because then at least I've got 15 minutes of sort of shout outs and stuff to, to entertain you with and say hello to you all, because I do miss saying hello to everyone. And once things settle down a bit, we will be able to go live again with um, with Saturday nights. Just not definitely not for November uh, because I was really, really hoping it was going to turn up yesterday, but it's due to turn up on Friday now. Um, we've got the book launch coming up and a few other bits and pieces. I've got I'm hosting another wedding, which I'm really looking forward to. 
um not hosting a whole wedding just a quiz um so i'm really looking forward to that so yeah there's there's lots of things coming up and it just means i have to jiggle my re my weeks around uh someone asked me the other day what does it sort of normally take um in terms of putting the quizzes together well if if I was to write it from start to no, put it from start to finish, it takes about forty eight hours. Give up not a complete forty eight. Two days is what it normally takes of working. So, put the framework together. So this was written. The majority of this was written on Tuesday morning, um, and the, the Thursday's quiz was majority of it was written on Monday. So, uh, yeah, it does take quite a bit of time to put them together. Hence why I've jiggled it around. But we will be back live again at some point on a Saturday. Just definitely not for November. I've said this a couple of times now. Definitely not for November. Uh, quite a lot of exciting and fun things going on. Um, I say the book, which <clears throat> if you've been with us since the start of the quiz this evening, uh, or if you were with us on Thursday, you'll have seen it's all gone purple. Hmm. Could that be a clue? Mind you, if you've seen the book cover, I've already held the book cover up, you'll know why. Uh, but yeah, so that is due to um, due to change. Um, so yeah, we're going purple for uh, for November. Um, loads of other things coming up. If you uh, a teacher in school or if you've um, got kids in school and stuff, uh, anti-bullying week is coming up in a couple of weeks time in November. Uh, I've recorded a couple of short quizzes to be played out in schools again as part of anti-bullying week. So that's good. Uh, but next Thursday night's quiz. Hmm. It is going to be. Just, even <laughs> next Thursday night's quiz is going to be a technical challenge in itself as normal with um, with syncing and the return of the audio round. But the fact we've got an additional additional presenter as well yes uh in association with mnd we have got the wonderful wonderfully talented lily james is joining as well next um next thursday night i've written the questions for her so um she was uh, recording that uh i've not got it just yet she was recording that on thursday so uh, looking forward to seeing that coming through uh but yeah i've written all the questions for her so i know what's coming it's going to be a really good fun quiz really looking forward to it and really pleased to be working with mnd as well uh, so yeah, it's loads, loads, loads coming up. Um, there's a few things we're working on as well. So there's going to be some more appearances at some things as well. Um, I've got another trip to London for some book promo and stuff coming up in a couple of weeks time. Um, meeting some incredible people. So yeah, out and about. And yeah, oh, it's, it's just non-stop fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, but all good fun. Uh, so as you're watching this as well, uh, what time are we now? Uh, so it's probably 8.07, 8.08, give or take, depending on the, the sort of lag and stuff. Uh, so hang on, half five, quarter past six, quarter past seven. Yeah, so by the time you watch this, I'll either be uh, at Euston Station or nearly at Euston Station, ready to catch my train back to the northwest because uh, I'm down in London again. I, do you know what? I, th I don't think I've spent more time in London over the last sort of few months than I have in the whole 11 month, 11 years, 11, 12 years that I've lived in the Northwest. I think I seem to be spending more time in London, but obviously that's where everything is and that's um, where we need to be. So, uh, yeah, all good fun. Uh, but yeah, hope you are well. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're all staying safe. Um, yeah. It's really awkward because I've got loads that I want to talk about, but I can't really, and I don't want to bore you all to death. We just sit here and go and just sing. La, 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 I'm only kidding. Uh, but yeah, if you are just joining us now, thank you very much. It is Saturday, the 30th of October. Uh, thank you very much for being with us this evening. Hope you are all well. 50 questions as always. Um, and I've got, you've got another Only Connect style grid for, row, uh, for break two. And also, like I said, because I thought there might be some children playing this evening, there's also a word search, but I will get more into that for break one uh, in a little in a little while but yeah um all good um and yeah i do hope everyone is well um so i've just it's been a long week this week i've been on um full-blown uh babysitting duties because jack's been on half term sarah's still been working so monday we went what did we do monday oh um so monday we went to the cinema uh, we went to watch boss baby 2 and then let the little four-year-old run around and play in the arcades for a little bit uh, and then we came home so we yeah we and then built a track with uh, thomas the tank engine track so yeah so um monday was good tuesday i was working all day um and jack was in after school club so sarah um was dotting around the house and then wednesday it was jack and daddy day again uh which we had and uh, what did we do wednesday oh we went uh, yeah we went and did see it's been that long a week uh wednesday we went and did some shopping 
Um, so I took him shopping, which he was absolutely, he was he was good as gold um, at shopping. Didn't ask for too many things. In fact, the main thing he wanted was custard creams. Kid after my own heart. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so yeah, that was Wednesday. And then again, we just built another monster uh, Thomas the Tank Engine train line, uh, train track train uh thomas the tank engine train track in the uh in the kitchen in the kitchen in the living room and um, we played with that for most of wednesday and then wednesday night i was at i was at turf moor in burnley i uh, met a few people there uh including a lovely burnley fan as well i forgot to mention this on uh, on the quiz that's just gone that you've just watched no i uh, forgot to mention it on the quiz that i've just finished but you watched on thursday night um but yeah lovely uh lovely Burnley fan we were having a bit of a chat about football and then suddenly realized that realized that I was who I said I was uh, and it still makes me laugh if you are watching this um the guys that I met at the quiz on uh, on Saturday night uh, I, I I've sort of very very quickly skitted over the story but I'll tell you now so it was brilliant so I was at this at this charity quiz in Welling on uh on that last Saturday night uh, with my very very good friend Hayley and her husband Martin and their friend Leon and we were having it was a 100 question quiz so it was 50 questions then take a break and then get the answers and what have you so we were sat um just sat at a table near the front near the door I was sort of you know in in on the end of the table um paying attention to the quiz not really paying attention to what was going on around me and um they did the first 50 questions gave the answers and it was like I will take a short break and there was just this this table next to us, just um, lovely, lovely ladies. So hello to you if you are watching. And they just went, you're not Jay, are you? Now, I was wearing, <clears throat> I had my hoodie on, which um, which is one of the team meal ones, which has all quizzed out on, because uh, I thought it was quite funny to take it to a quiz, you know, where all quizzed out at a quiz night. Anyway, uh, so yes, yeah, so I, um, I was wearing that. And they said, you're not Jay, really, are you? I said, yeah, quiz Jay, yeah and they didn't believe me they couldn't work out why i was a, a charity quiz a small charity quiz in welling and it was because i was invited by a friend and they was there to raise money so i wanted to go down and i had a brilliant night and um they, they were just genuinely convinced that i look like him i am and it, it wasn't actually me so i pulled out my driving license said look there you go you know darwin etc and what have you and uh, you know there's my address probably shouldn't have shown out my address but hell um but yeah it was it was really really sweet and eventually you know sort of they they realized that it was actually me um so hello to you if you are watching see just proving again it was genuinely me but yeah it was it was brilliant it was lovely to sit at a proper pen and paper quiz 100 questions um we did all right we came fourth out of seven teams um i think Haley, martin and leon did admit that had it not been for some of my answers i don't think they may have got into fourth but uh, it was it was fun. It was great. It was brilliant. And that, that was a little bit awkward was, um, you know, there were a couple of teams there. And when they realized it was me and I was there, they all thought that we were going to storm through and win, which, no, it was never going to happen. Like I say, I may have written, you know, tens of thousands of questions over the last 19 months, but it does go in that ear and out the other. Uh, but some of it stuck, pulled out some absolutely inspired answers um, from absolute nowhere. So... Uh, yeah, but it was great fun to to be with Haley, Martin, and Leon. It was lovely, lovely to meet you, Leon. Uh, but don't worry, Jeanette. I know Haley's mum is desperate to um, say hello, and she's missed out twice now. But don't worry, there's another opportunity coming uh, middle of November. So don't you worry. We'll come and say hello to you then. Um, but yeah, no, sorry, it's all good. All right, you've got a minute and a half. I have managed to fill 15 minutes of talking absolute nonsense as usual. Um, I will say hello to our YouTube live chat legends who are no doubt in there talking away. Uh, they are really, uh, they, they're in early. They're in normally from about seven o'clock, no matter whether it's a live quiz or one of these pre-recorded quizzes. Uh, they're in the live chat talking away. They'll answer people's questions as well, which is absolutely ace. They're in there, you know, someone will say, oh, can, you know, how does this work, etc. And they're brilliant. So hello to all of you guys, our YouTube live chat legends and the Patreons in our page. Firstly, well, to hello to all of the Patreons. Uh, do keep an eye on your emails and that includes your junk emails, Patreons. Um, there is a very, 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 very long Patreon update coming. Um, so basically I'd get yourself a brew and sit down before you start reading it because it is long. Um, so keep an eye on Patreon on Patreon website and Patreon app on Monday. It should, I think it's about lunchtime it's going out. Uh, so do keep an eye on that. Um, but you will, you should get an email notification. Now, something we've noticed is not everyone's been receiving these. 
Um, nine times out of ten, it's because it's gone into your junking boxes. So please do keep an eye out for that because uh, it's got a big long update, not just about some of the things on Patreon, not just about um, a lot of that, but also some of the things that we've got coming up as well and some of the things that you guys can get involved in. So do please read that, keep an eye on it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so hello to all of our patrons in the Discord server as well, our, as they call themselves, the Jebral Nutjobs. So hello to everybody in there. I've not set it up. I'm about ready to go and I've not set it up. Oh, uh, that one there. Done. Perfect. Right, let's get into this. It is 8.15 as you watch this. It is Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz. It is the Saturday the 30th of October. Happy Halloween for tomorrow if you're uh, that way out. I must admit I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween. It doesn't really sort of do anything for me. One sec. Sorry, it was just a whole load of sirens just started kicking up outside the house. Anyway, right, let's get into this. It is uh, Saturday 30th of October. Thanks for joining us. Let's start then, as we always do, with a picture round. Ten random pictures. I forget on the right one. Starting with this. There we go. Uh, name the drinks company from this logo for number one. Number one. Picture number two is a flag, as always. Uh, name of the country. So, name the country for number two. Do, 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 do. Remember, these will be up on social media. They'll be up on Twitter and Instagram in the break if you so need them. Um, number three, name the fruit pictured here. So name the fruit pictured here. Just trying to get everything set up for the break as well. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I've got that song stuck in my head and I can't, I don't even know what it's called. Da, 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 de, 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 da, de, de. Uh, number four. There we go. Uh, so name the South American mountain that you can see in the foreground. I had to add that in because I know someone would have gone, wow, it's that in the back. Uh, but yeah, so name the South American mountain that is in the foreground. Dun, 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 dun. Number five. Uh, number five. Name the Roman emperor from this statue. So name the Roman emperor from this statue. Number six, name the instrument. Uh, bah, bah, start again. Name the instrument pictured here for number uh, number six. It feels very weird having done a live quiz and then gone straight into a pre-recorded one. Well, I say straight away. I'm just about an hour later, but yeah, like back-to-back -back quizzes. Like the, like the Guinness World Record attempt all over again. Number seven, name the actor. So number seven, name the actor.
Number eight, name the painting for number eight. So name the painting for number eight. Uh, number nine, name the cartoon character pictured here. So name the cartoon character pictured here for number nine. And finally, number 10. So this is the logo for Iberia Airlines, but which country is it the flag carrier for? So this is the logo for Iberia Airlines, but which country is it the flag carrier for? So entertainment round then, as always, 10, music, movie, and music, movie, TV, music, movie, uh, let's have 10 questions. Number one, <laughs> what was the name of Peter Falk's detective in the show of the same name from 1968 to 2003? He's had breaks in between that, but yeah, you know what I mean. So what was the name of Peter Falk's detective in the show of the same name from 1968 to 2003? Number two, uh, who directed the films Jackie Brown, Kill Bill and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So who directed Jackie Brown, Kill Bill, Volumes 1 and 2, uh, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Hollywood. Uh, number three, who teamed up with David Bowie for an 80s cover of Dancing in the Street? Dancing in... Yeah, that one. Uh, so who's... Who teamed up with David Bowie for an 80s cover of Dancing in the Street? This might not have been my brightest of ideas recording this straight after the Thursday night quiz. This may get very delusional very quickly. Dancing in the Street. All we need is music. Uh, number four. Uh, what is the name of the medical drama that follows Sean Murphy? Uh, an autistic surgeon. Surgeon. He is the autistic surgeon. It's not and an autistic surgeon. Uh, so what is the name of the medical drama that follows Sean Murphy, who is an autistic surgeon? Question five, complete the name of the 1995 romantic comedy starring Sandra Bullock. While you were what? 
so complete in the name of the 1995 romantic comedy starring Sandra Bullock, While You Were What? Number six. Uh, name the song. I'll send an SOS to the world. I'll send an SOS to the world. I hope that someone gets my... Mm. So, name the song. I'll send an SOS to the world. I'll send an SOS to the world. I hope that someone gets my... Biting my tongue so I don't sing anymore. Number seven, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, right, the Lord is my shepherd was the theme tune to which British comedy starring Dawn French? This was the round I finished off after the Thursday night quiz. Uh, so, the Lord is my shepherd was the theme tune to which British comedy starring Dawn French? See, this is what I said. I mean, pre-recorded, right? I could uh, quite easily go away, chop a bit. Change that on screen, etc. But it takes away from the whole element of the. It wouldn't be a quiz of mine if there wasn't some kind of um, chaos. Uh, number eight. Which of these movie distributors has had the highest market share uh, worldwide between 1995 to 2021? This is when they started recording properly. Um, it's sort of um it's when they change the charts uh, so which of these movie distributors has had the highest market share worldwide since 1995 1995 to 2021 is it warner brothers walt disney sony pictures or universal so which of these movie distributors has had the highest market share worldwide 95 to 2021 is it Warner Brothers, Walt Disney, Sony Pictures, or Universal? Number nine. Uh, who had a 1995 dance hit with the song Insomnia? So who had a 1995 dance hit with Insomnia? And your final entertainment question, number 10. What is the name of the Sky One comedy drama starring Michelle Keegan, Joe Gilgan, Dominic West? So what is the name of the Sky One comedy drama starring Michelle Keegan, Joe Gilgan and Dominic West? <clears throat> Excuse me. So it is Saturday. It is time for Blockbusters. Da -da 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 -da. Question number one. Uh, what SNL is a long running sketch stroke variety show from America? So which SNL is a long running sketch stroke variety show from America? Do you know, I don't think I've ever watched any of these all the way through, but do end up watching a lot of the clips online. Mm. And number two, what M was Arthur's wizard assistant? Yeah. Yeah. What M was Arthur's wizard assistant? Assistant. What do you think?
Number three, what Y is the color of New York taxis? So what Y is the color of New York taxis? Number five, what GS was lost by Cinderella? So what GS was lost by Cinderella? Number five, what S is the name of a tabletop football game? playing this as a kid but what s is the name of a tabletop football game number six what b is a collector of books so what b is a collector of books Question seven, what TRU is a former retailer set to return to the UK in 2022? I'm very excited about this. Uh, but what TRU is a former retailer set to return to the UK in 2022? Number eight, what tea is the name of a hot sauce and a state in Mexico? <laughs> so what tea is the name of a hot sauce and a state in Mexico? I've got something stuck in my head now, but I will um, tell you when I go through the answers. Cause I can't tell you now because you'll uh, it'll give you a clue. Uh, number nine, what B is the surname of Emily, Charlotte and Anne? Among others, there are a few others in there as well. So what B is the surname of Emily, Charlotte and Anne? And finally, question 10. What N is a pickup truck by Nissan? So what N is a pickup truck by Nissan? Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. That is 30 questions in the bag. Nice and simply uh, on that. I'm still trying to set up. Uh, what do I want? I want uh, rah, rah, rah. Need that one there. Need that one there. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'll right, we'll move that down to there. There we go. Oh, no, I can't do that because then you won't see the letters. Right. Anyway. Right. Sorry. I'm wittering. I'm trying to just make sure I've got everything sorted. Right. Uh, so uh, as I said before, you've got a word search. It is Halloween themed. So there are 10 Halloween um, words to find in there. There is one that is two words together, but you'll when it goes up on screen, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but yeah, I will see you all after this short break.
back up here in my tiny little box. Um, it may have to come off screen when the answers come up in a second because um, I'm not sure if I cover over it. Um, but no, it was just in the break then. I was just because I do still, even though I don't like edit this bit in, it's um, all still part of the whole thing. Um, but I was just in the break then reading an article uh, from this morning <clears throat> about the lost ghost ships rising from the Pacific Ocean after a volcanic eruption. Um, so sunken, sunken warships from World War II emerged after 800, uh, about 800 miles from Tokyo. Uh, they're said to be Japanese vessels that were captured by the US Navy during the Battle of Iwo Jima in 1945. There's like two dozen ghost ships. So there's been like some volcanic eruption underneath the Pacific Ocean and it's um, caused a bit of a shift. And these like two dozen, 24 ships that sank during uh, during that battle have um, have come to the surface. The pictures are incredible. Go and check it out if you've, um, it's on the Mirror News' website. Um, but yeah, go and check it out if you haven't seen it. That's absolutely incredible. I mean, I'm a geek like stuff like that. I love stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, absolutely bonkers. Uh, anyway, right, back to the matter in hand, uh, quizzing. Uh, let's put your answers up on screen then in three, two, and at least we've also put the position they're in as well. One. There we go. Oh, that's a bit blurry. Um, so there are 10 words there in total. So you've got uh, supernatural, which is there across the top, uh, going backwards. Uh, you've got haunted, which is there on the third row down. Uh, then you've got October over there on the bottom left. Uh, next to that, going backwards but up, uh, is cobwebs. Then you've got cauldron next to those. Uh, almost in the middle there, you've got broomstick. And going up again, just a couple of rows across, you've got spooky. Uh, then you've got uh, well on the well next you've got on a bit of an angle you've got witch diagonal from the bottom corner witch there. Uh, on the other diagonal you've got pumpkin, and going up on the right hand side you've got fancy dress. Come on, be honest, hands up. How many of you didn't play the word search and just wrote down as many words that you could think of that were associated with the, with Halloween? Go on. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Play along how you want to play along. That is the whole point of the quiz. Uh, it is always there. And actually, while I think about it, just to... Um, yes, there was a wrong answer, and I will hold my hands up for once. Um, normally, I say Quizmaster's right, deal with it. Um, but yeah, there was a slightly wrong answer. It, was, it wasn't wrong from what I had. It was just a poorly worded question. Um, but one thing I've said from day one, if you can go to your teams and say, hey, look, I can prove that I was right. Here we go. I'm having the point. Then it's absolutely fine. At the end of the day, I mean, like there were 16,000 people playing on Thursday night. We can't referee everybody. Um, and obviously once the, the a lot of the stuff comes through after the quiz is finishing, a lot of it pops up on social media and I will try and react to it. But a lot of the stuff does come through afterwards. So, you know, if you can prove to the teams that you're playing against and you can prove that you're right, turn around and say, look, Jay said I can prove I'm right. I proved I'm right. I'm having the point. Um, yeah, referee, referee your own friendly battles. Keep them friendly as well. Uh, right. Let's give you the answer then to the first part of the quiz. If I get on the right screen, that one there. Uh, so we started then, as we always do, with a picture round. Here they are. Here are the here are the answers. Number one, name the drinks company that is Monster. Number two, name the country that is Madagascar. Number three, name the fruit. It is an avocado. Number four, name the South American mountain in the foreground. That is Sugarloaf Mountain. Uh, number five, name the Roman Emperor. Emperor, Emperor. What is wrong? I've been talking too much today. Name the Roman Emperor. That is Augustus. Number six, name the instrument. That is a harmonica. Or har actually, or harpsichord. If you Is it harpsichord? Uh, hang on, let me double check. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I've just seen something written on the top of it. 
No, I am right. Yeah, harmonica. I don't, harpsichord is something completely different. Ignore me. Uh, number seven, name the actor. That is Jeff Bridges. Number eight, name the painting. They are sunflowers. Number nine, name the cartoon character. That is Kenny. Oh my God, they killed Kenny. You beep. And number 10, this is the logo for Iberia Airlines, but which country is it the flag carrier for? It is Spain. Entertainment number one, what was the name of Peter Falk's detective in the show of the same name from 1968 to 2003? It was Columbo. Number two, who directed Jackie Brown, Kill Bill and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? It's Quentin Tarantino. Number three, who teamed up with uh, David Bowie for an 80s cover of Dancing in the Street? Uh, Mick Jagger. Uh, number four, what is the name of the medical drama that follows Sean Murphy, and who is an autistic surgeon? It is called The Good Doctor. Sarah's addicted to watching that. Uh, number five, complete the name of the 1995 romantic comedy starring Sandra Bullock. It's While You Were Sleeping. And number six, name the song. I'll send an SOS to the world. I hope that someone gets my message in a bottle. Uh, message in a bottle. I don't know why I'm singing. I'm in that kind of way out tonight. Uh, but yeah, message in a bottle uh, for number six. And number seven, The Lord is My Shepherd was the theme tune to which British comedy starring Dawn French. Uh, it's The Vicar of Dibley. I'm not singing that one. I'll upset people. Uh, number eight, which of these movie distributors had the highest market share worldwide, 95 to 2021? Uh, it's Walt Disney. No real surprise there because obviously Walt Disney from a couple of years ago then bought in Marvel uh, and they've had some of the, you know, well, um, Avengers Endgame is the second highest grossing film of all time. Um, so, yeah, uh, Warner Brothers is at number two. And again, they've got all the um, the other comic universe i'm not a big fan of dc so the dc universe under warner brothers uh number nine who had a 1995 dance hit with insomnia it was faithless and number 10 the name of the sky one comedy drama starring michelle keegan joe gilgan and dominic west is sick they're filming not far from me at the moment up in accrington i think it's accrington uh, Blockbusters answers then number one. What which air uh, what SNL is a long running sketch variety show from America from America? It is Saturday Night Live. Number two, what M was Arthur's wizard assistant? It's Merlin. Number three, what Y is the colour of New York taxis? It's yellow. Number four, what GS was lost by Cinderella? It's glass slipper. Number five, what S is the name of a tabletop football game? It is Subutio. Not played it for years, but it is a brilliant game. Number six, what B is a collector of books? It's a bibliophile. Number seven, what TRU is a former retailer set to return to the UK in 2022? It is Toys R Us set to return, uh, according to a news article I saw this morning. Uh, but yeah, Toys R Us set to return to the UK high street and UK shopping centres. That is fine. I'm really excited for that to come back. As long as they bring the, the TV advert with it. They've got to bring the advert with it as well. Number eight. What tea is the name of a hot sauce and state in Mexico? It's Tabasco. And number nine. What B is the surname of Emily Charlotte and Anne? It's Bronte. The Bronte sisters. I know there's others, but yeah. And number 10, what N is a pickup truck by Nissan? It is Navara. So, tot your scores up. How are you doing on this 30th of October? Uh, let us know, as you always do. Live chat's open on YouTube and what have you, so stick your scores up. Let us know how you're getting on <clears throat> out of 30 so far. 20 questions to come. Connections round and general knowledge to finish off. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Right, uh, let me push that button there and then do that one. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, connections round then. Uh, as always, nine random questions. Question number 10, what links them all together? We start with this. 
Number one, uh, what is the name of Amazon's doorbell and surveillance systems? It's been in the news quite a bit recently. So what is the name of Amazon's doorbell and surveillance systems? Uh, number two, complete the name of the virtual reality headset. It is mm -hmm, Rift. It's not the right amount of letters. That's just a load of dash lines as well, just in case you might try to be clever and think, oh, I can work it out from that. Uh, let's complete the name of the VR headset. Something Rift. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, number three, what was the surname of the leader of the Labour Party from 1994 to 2007? So what was the surname of the leader of the Labour Party from 94 to, nine, uh, to 2007? Number four, complete the name of the... Oh, what on earth is going on today? I don't even know what I was trying to put there. Hold... Um... Yeah, I thought it was. So complete the name of the Ava Max. Max. Max song. Sweet but. Complete the name of the Ava Max song. Sweet but what? This is what I get for trying to finish this off very quickly. And this is also what you get for, I mean, like I said, if I was if I was pre-recording this and editing it and trying to make it a polished quiz that everything was spot on, it wouldn't be the same. You wouldn't have seen that. Uh, number five, the opening of a pair of trousers, usually closed with a zip or buttons, is known as what? So the opening of a pair of trousers usually closed with a zip or buttons is known as a what? Uh, question number six, what word describes an event regarded as a portent of good or evil? So what word describes an event regarded as a portent of good or evil? Number seven, which day stroke date is generally considered unlucky? If you have an idea of what the connection is by now, uh, you should be able to guess where I'm going with this, but which day stroke date is generally considered unlucky. So I'm looking for, for example, and this isn't the right answer, uh, Monday the 9th of April. So I'm looking for three things there, really. It's probably given... F never. Oh, it's probably given you way more than you needed, and now you know what I'm after. Everybody gets a point. Question eight. A loud, piercing cry expressing extreme emotion or pain is which word? So a loud, piercing cry expressing extreme emotion or pain is which word? Question nine. The end of the line can also be described as a person's what? So the end of the line can also be described as the what or a person's what? Question 10, what links them all together? Right, let's move on. Jebral knowledge then. 10 random questions starting with this. Number one, uh, in the Bible, which has more books? Is it the Old Testament or the New Testament? So in the Bible, which has more books, the old 
or the New Testament. Question number two, Tony Blackburn, Noel Edmonds, Chris Evans and current host Greg James have all hosted which radio breakfast show? Number three, what is known as the mint with a hole? <laughs> what? What is known as the mint with a hole? Question four, how many squares are there on a Scrabble board? <laughs> How many squares are there on a Scrabble board? Sorry, I just got a message from Alex. I don't think he's kind of... <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> I kind of missed the point of my original message. Uh, but yeah, how many squares are there on a Scrabble board? Uh, question number five. HS2 Railway will start from which terminal in London? So HS2 Railway will start from which terminal in London? Uh, number six, name one of the two letters that don't appear on the periodic table. So name one of the two letters that don't appear on the periodic table. Uh, number seven, how many sisters does Prince Charles have? So how many sisters does Prince Charles have? Uh, number eight, what is a female alligator called? Again, I think I've put this question in before. I, when I was putting it in, I think I'm sure I've done this before. Um, so yeah, not you know what what are they called in general? Not what you know you might call them. Uh, question nine: Barney Rubble is Cockney rhyming slang for what? So Barney Rubble is Cockney rhyming slang for what? And finally, question number 10. What is the longest and strongest bone in the body? So what is the longest and strongest bone in the body? Okay, that is it for that. That is all your questions in the bag. You have them all in front of you now. All you need to do is make sure you've got some answers for them, which we will give you those final 20 answers shortly. So we're going to take another short break. Uh, going to pop up your, um, if I actually do the right thing here, right, let's take me off screen. Uh, put that there and then move the timer back 
to there and we are good yeah so it's another only connect style grid i love putting these together you guys have really enjoyed them and i do enjoy uh trying to come up with red herrings and stuff like that and uh put them all together so uh, as always same uh, rules apply as for well, where are you going put you back down there thank you very much uh, yes the usual rules apply with this you've got to find the four sets of connecting words there will be red herrings in there uh, but there are four specific sets which complete the grid overall uh, so here they are and I will see you all after this
Right, just another minute then on these. Um, I saw the other day uh, on Twitter that the application process is open for the new series of Only Connect. Now, I'm not sure. I don't know. what. I mean, some of you out there have probably may have done quiz shows. I know there was a lovely lady who was talking uh, in the live chat a week or so ago that was, um, was waiting for her appearance on a TV show to come out. Um, but I don't know what the rules are. Once you've done one, are you allowed to go on different ones? I, I really do fancy a crack at Only Connect because the amount of connections, rounds and stuff I've written, I think would be quite good in putting a team together. Um, they'd have to be the same team as, as Eggheads, but I don't know. Is it? What do you reckon? I'll, I'll throw it out to you guys. Social media, you know, do you think we should maybe have a crack at it? Um, Only Connect or should we, you know, should we have a look and see if we can do a different one? And embarrass ourselves even more. Um, because if you haven't watched Eggheads, go and watch it. It's it's hilarious. Um, we we didn't disgrace ourselves. I think I always say, as I always say with the quiz, rule of thumb: if you get more than fifty percent of your questions right, you've done well. And I think we got fifty percent of the questions right. We're still debating a few of the things that we did wrong on the day. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe I should have a look. Maybe we should apply for Only Connect. We don't get any privileges because we're, you know, we're sort of doing a big virtual quiz. We don't get any privileges. Same with Eggheads. We had to apply and audition and everything through that. We went through the same process everyone else does. Uh, we don't get bumped up the queue. So maybe maybe I'll have a think about it over the next couple of days. Anyway, right. Uh, here we go. Your answers then for these in three, in two, as it's just turning about, about to turn ten past nine, in one, boom. There we go. Uh, so your top row then are connecting our Swan B lion and ram they are animals or insects or what have you things you would find on football club badges your next row uh tin man scarecrow dorothy and toto so tin man scarecrow dorothy and toto they are things they are things from the wizard of oz see the red herring there lion yeah Um, your, your third row, uh, U2, uh, ACDC, Rolling Stones and Aerosmith, they are rock bands. Toto was the red herring there because of um, rock band and their song Africa. And raves down in Africa. Uh, and your final one, sorry I was distracted, your final one, uh, Crown Castle. Railway and Plough. Uh, so they are pub names. I I, I want to say that they're one word pub names, but they're not because they've always got the in front of them. So the crown, the castle, the railway, the plough. Um, but yeah, so they are pub names. Okay, there we go. Uh, if you need a bit more time to make sure you had the answers, you can pause and rewind and what have you. It's pre-recorded. That's the beauty of this. Uh, right, so get your answer sheets together while I alt-tab around my screens and get onto the right one. Uh, that one there, and push that button there. Right, let's find out how you did this evening. Uh, ping that one across. There we go. Right, so we uh, round four was your connections round. Uh, it started with this, number one. Uh, what is the name of Amazon's doorbell and surveillance systems? Uh, it's Ring. So it's the Ring doorbells. They acquired the company back in 2017, I think it was. Uh, but yeah, so it's actually an Amazon. I didn't know this until uh, a few weeks ago. I knew Amazon sold them, but... Uh, number two, complete the name of the VR headset. It is Oculus Rift. Uh, number three, uh, what was the name, what was the surname of the leader of the Labour Party from 94 to 2007? It was Blair. Obviously Tony Blair. Uh, number four, complete the name of the Ava Max song, Sweet But, it's Sweet But Psycho. And number five, the opening of a pair of trousers usually closed with a zip or buttons is known as uh, it is fly. And number six, which word describes an event regarded as a portent of good or evil? It is omen.
Uh, number seven, which day stroke date is generally considered unlucky? It is Friday the 13th. Uh, number eight, a loud piercing cry expressing extreme emotion or pain is which word? It is scream. Can't wait for that next year, but I'll, yeah. Uh, number nine, the end of the line can also be described as the what it is final destination. So what links them all together? Here's your Halloween theme. Uh, they are all horror movies. Yeah, I can't wait for the new Scream film next year. I'd say it looks very good, but I've only seen a short clip. But yeah, can't wait for that. But yeah, they are all the names of horror films. I did horror villains a while back. These are all horror movies. Jebra knowledge there, number one in the Bible, which has more books. It is the Old Testament. Uh, number two, Tony Blackburn, Noel Edmonds, Chris Evans and current host Greg James have all hosted which radio breakfast show? It's Radio One. Uh, number three, what is known as the mint with a hole? It is Polo. Uh, number four, how many squares are there on a Scrabble board? It is 225. 15 by 15. Uh, number five, HS2 Railway will start from which terminal in London? It is London Euston. If you've only put Euston, it's fine. You can have the point. Uh, number six, name one of the two letters that don't appear on the periodic table. You can have either J or Q. Uh, number seven, how many sisters does Prince Charles have? It is just the one, Princess Anne. Uh, number eight, uh, what is a female alligator called? It is a cow. And uh, number nine, Barney Rubble is Cockney rhyming slang for what? It is trouble. And your final question for this Saturday, the 30th of October. Uh, what is the longest and strongest bone in the body? It is the femur. There we go. Uh, how have you got on this evening? Uh, let us know your scores across social media, as you always do. Tot your scores up. Let us know how you did out of 50 possible points on the table for you this evening. Uh, but if you need it, as always, here is a tie-breaking question. And it is this. How tall is Blackpool Tower in metres? I originally had this set up for Zoe Ball's breakfast show for Thursday, last Thursday. This Thursday. Yeah. Was it last Thursday or this Thursday? I can't remember. It was one of the tiebreaker questions, but we didn't end up using it, so... Uh, how tall is Blackpool Tower in metres? Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-
very, very popular actress called Lily James in support of MND is going to be here as well. Questions written by me, but she will be presenting them. It's the first person we've had for nearly 12 months come along and jump along and want to support uh, the charity and the quiz. Uh, so to get somebody of Lily James's calibre to come and join us is just insane. Like I said, uh, she was recording this as I'm probably as I'm recording this. She's recording this, uh, recording the questions for Sat uh, for Thursday night herself going to be interesting it's going to be fun it's going to be entertaining because i've got a lot of bus buttons to push and yeah we all know what happens when i push buttons hmm. we'll see you thursday as always for me take care we will see you soon uh thank you very much for playing this evening i need to get on the right one that one there we'll see you soon take care and as always for me stay safe <laughs>